In Verbier. I think a lot of people would love to see Christopher take the title here. Absolutely lovely guy, fantastic skier, and definitely got potential to take it. So good luck, Christopher. Let's see what he's got. Sitting in a tie at the second place position with his good friend Rene Barcaret. Similar entrance we saw to Carl. Often, like we said, these guys skiing fairly similar zones, similar lines. Look how steep this is, just littered with rocks and boulders. So clean, so smooth. It's Turdell's trademark. He makes it look smooth when it's not smooth. He does, he just got, he's got that kind of almost floating on the snow kind of look to him, hasn't he? Almost kind of light feet. Now, we haven't seen anybody in oh. here. Christopher Turdell, cross court. Oh. So clean there for Turdell. Wow, so smooth, so clean. And finding something we haven't seen anyone else hit. Turdell, wow, that was an incredible run. Now he's going to make his way over to the extra credit wind lip and see what he can throw and down the backy. there. There you go. What a landing spot. He's, he kind of landed in between two rocks. Yeah. He zigzagged skiers, uh, skiers left and then cut instantly back and transition straight into that sweet spot of the landing. He's over the moon with that, and so he should be. <laughs> and the first thing he does is give it Amar props for his run. That says it all, doesn't it? You, you see his legs barely flex when he lands. He always finds the downsloping transition to take the impact out of it and cross court. The imagery there of the slough just pouring over the cliff as he's in the air. Look at this, so clean, so smooth. The backflip at the bottom. Christopher Turdell definitely doing what he needs to do. But the story, when he comes down and sees Navarro in the hot seat and he just is so excited. <laughs> oh, he's there though! Christopher taking first place, 90.67. It was enough. Definitely, Elizabeth Gerritsen, 25 years old, and even at 25, she's had five seasons on the tour, and she won in 2019. Let's see what she's got. Elizabeth, immediately into a very serious part of this face, going over into an untapped, as of yet, section, and now up high onto this. Actually, we did see Juliet coming into the same section. Now, Elizabeth holding on. She is in her bread and butter. The only way out of here is to air, and Elizabeth straight into the fall line, flying over Juliet's bomb hole, right back across, totally in control right now. Elizabeth Gerritsen looking strong on the back. Absolutely flying. She looks like she wants it, and her legs are on today. There's no danger of her falling on any of those drops, and Incredible speed so far. Yeah, Elizabeth now lining up here on this lower section. You can see the one track coming across, flying off. Perfect connection with the landing. Elizabeth Gerritsen, another really strong run. You can tell that she's at home here. Yeah. She lives in Verbier. She's so comfortable on this snow, this face, and this kind of terrain. It just suits her to a T. And Elizabeth definitely throwing down the gauntlet there. That was a sick run. She's got to be stoked with that. It's Yeah, it, there's something almost about her body language when she drops in on the Beck that she's just like, yeah, this is me, I'm good, I'm feeling strong.
And That's what confidence looks like. And yeah. Elizabeth has it in spades on this face. Right out of the gate, it's so steep there. And she went into a section that there is zero margin for error. Judges criteria lighting up. Technique now critical as she moves across. She's above exposure. If she doesn't stand on the downhill ski, she falls. And that is not a place where you can fall. And then huge off that bottom one. So Elizabeth flashing the run top to bottom. You can see there's one little deviation in the line. And that was only to line up for another feature. Super direct, extremely technical. Judges, I have a feeling, are going to love that one. Are you, are you going to call it, Derek? Is it going to be enough to knock Ariana off the top spot? What I will never, I will <laughs> never put myself in that <laughs> spot because I can only <laughs> lose. Uh, but I think they're going to like that run. We'll see how it ranks. Definitely doing what she needed to do, ticking the, but, ticking the judges' boxes on the criteria. Putting that panel of judges to work is what we want to see. We want to see clean runs, make the judges work for it. Now they're just weighing up the criteria, line score, fluidity, air and style. Obviously, Ari gets a big bump in air and style for the 360, but Elizabeth hitting some big features along the way and with 100% commitment. I guess, it, and it, to me, it felt like Elizabeth's run was faster overall. Here we go, first place, there you go, Gerritsen! Yeah. We heard it from Zav. Victor is kind of switching from pure freestyle to the big mountain. You know, he's 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 always on the big lines, kind of mountaineering around. This is going to suit him, and I think he likes it. Coming hot off a win in Fieberbrunn as well, so confidence will be high for Victor. Yeah, definitely a challenger for this, but he's going to have to go full throttle. Yeah, if he's going to knock Cody off the top spot. Go on, Victor, let's see it. The season's been building fourth, then third, then first. Can he hold that momentum as he comes in here right out of the gate into a serious section, doubling oh. off it and perfectly clean. Victor right over his board <laughs> now, just needing to control the speed. He doesn't need to shut it down. He just needs to put himself in control so he can access his next feature, There's which he three. does. There's a three. Hold it, Victor. He does, and he's straight into another drop. Absolutely good in it. Well, the commitment there, 360 into the exposure and immediately off the ground again to air out of that section. There is no other way out of there. I can't give that enough credit. Now, Victor just flying down into the finish line. That was intense. Wow, it really was. I mean, when he landed that back three, he was kind of just like, well, I'm not even going to try and check speed. I'm just going straight off the next drop. That double at the top as well, how much are the judges going to like that? They're going to love that. Overexposure right out of the gate into something serious, into a big, big section of the face with a big double. And as you said, the, the three into the pocket, there's no way he could slow that down. And he knows that. That's experience speaking. So he just kept it pointed down and didn't try to do anything funny, didn't try to push himself out of bounds. That was incredible. That takeoff on the three, it was almost like a... And that ollie, it came so fast. He was thinking quick down that run, wasn't he? Yeah, cat-like for Victor De La Rue. So putting the judges to work, this is going to be a very, very anxious time for Cody Bramwell. Yeah. Because if Victor takes this, 
Whoa! Oh! <laughs> 92 point six seven. Seasons on the tour, six, four-time world champion as of this year. Good luck, Marion. I think that stat alone, we can't say enough about it. She has won the tour four times. No other athlete in any category has ever done that. Marion Erti, the first rider on the back today, and she is out of the gate and getting things started straight away, catching the grab and going down. Uncharacteristic for Marion there. We are seeing possibly a door open for some of the other riders. You never know, you never know. I mean, she jumped up very quickly, which will help, but it was definitely, it was a bit of a butt check there. But she's back on her feet and, uh, and getting back into the run. Yeah, Marion known for aggressive riding, and we saw that straight out of the gate into that air. This is steep. We saw from the drone angle, and immediately now off the top of this, now this line, as she moves across, she's going to be lining up. The only way out of here is to air. So Marion Erti now coming out into the mandatory air and clean on yes. her feet, Kendall, looking good for the you champ. Don't... Well held, Marion. I'll tell you what, it was still, you know, she may have had that slight butt check at the top, but after that, it was still a really strong run, a couple of drops in there. One of the things that Marion does really well is she packs her runs with features from top to bottom. She never misses the opportunity to hit something. Every time she's in the air, she looks so balanced over her board. There's always a grab, a tweak. There's always something. And she's kind of got that perfect blend of the big mountain chops, but also the air and style, which is so critical in the judging categories. Yeah, that second drop that she did, it looked for a minute like she, she could have gone over the front. It looked a bit quite a heavy landing, but she, you know, the landing gear was super strong and she held onto it. That's just uh, solid legs, isn't it? Yeah, she's so strong. Marion truly is an athlete. Let's take a look back here, Gendal. So that was the first one. Yeah, little butt check straight up in the cloud of snow, trying to fool the judges. Yeah, the judges don't blink. They don't miss a thing. You can see there in our criteria bars, control is the only thing. Line score super high, fluidity maybe a little bit lower air and style that's what i was talking about her, her line just packed and every time she's in the air it looks great they are going to dock her on fluidity uh as we said the judges don't blink the binoculars don't have eyelids so marion <laughs> uh she's not going to be over the moon with that run but we're seeing i think we're going to get an idea as we move through this field what we're looking at with snow conditions 70 points